How often do you think you trick yourself without realizing it? If you didn't say often or all the time, then you're probably wrong because we humans, we trick ourselves all the time. And one of the ways we do that is through what's called the availability bias or availability heuristics in psychology, which basically says that when we're trying to think of reasons for something or explanations for something or examples of whether something is this way or the other, we tend to value most the things that we think of first. So it's not necessarily that we think of so many examples of something that can convinces us that something's right or wrong, it's usually enough that we can think of one or maybe a couple that has happened recently and that's all we need. We are not designed to remember all the things or all the examples that we have experienced throughout our life or that we've learned throughout our lives and then do a computational analysis and figure out statistically which one is the most important. No, we're programmed to see what can I think of right now. The things that I can think of right now is probably going to give me the right answer. But as we know, things tend not to be that easy. Things aren't the same every time. And so we can trick ourselves by weighing too heavily on the things that we've recently experienced or the strongest memories we have, rather than thinking of the wholeness of the situation or the topic and discussing it from there. So in order to combat this, we need to be, get really good at analyzing and paying attention to ourselves. Whenever you think of an example or a reason for why something's probably true, try to see if you can think of other examples from your own life or your own knowledge that disproves it. And once you have that going, you can more easily weigh and see which one are most likely or which one do you have more examples of. And from there, make a better and more qualified guess because it's in many cases still a guess. If you really need to know the facts, you need to you know, pay attention and put down numbers and run statistics or do the research or all that. But in everyday situations, whether it's a conversation with your partner or your, your workplace or your friends, Try to pay attention to this and don't let yourself get fooled by recent or strong experiences if they're not the same experience that you have most of the time.